Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, just here and there. This is Ronald. This video is about the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes. Every day, for more than 160 years, the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes has welcomed pilgrims from all over the world, especially the most fragile and suffering, so that everyone can experience the grace of Lourdes. The sanctuary is the world's leading network of hospitalities serving the sick. Lourdes has been an international shrine since its creation. Whether you come on a pilgrimage or for a few hours, the Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes is a meeting place and it's open for everyone. This is my third and final video about Lourdes and I'll be explaining you the miracles and history of this place. I've also made a separate video on the torchlight procession as well as the Eucharistic procession if you're not seen or if you're new to my channel, the link is in the description box below. At Lourdes, the first miracles took place after the apparitions of the Virgin Mary to Bernadette in 1858. Since then, thousands of declarations of cures have been collected by an institution that is unique in the world, Medical Bureau of the Sanctuary. Founded in 1883, the Medical Bureau of the Sanctuary is a part of historical heritage of the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes. It is a unique place in the world as no other shrine regardless of religion benefits from the permanent presence of a doctor in charge of notifying, verifying and investigation cases of the supposed cures. While more than 7000 cases of healing have been reported at Lourdes since the apparitions, 70 cases have been recognized as miracles by the church so far. The countries of origin of the people whose healing was recognized as miracles are France, Italy, Belgium, Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Most of the people were healed by contact with Lourdes holy water. Most of them are the sanctuary spots. The three main churches around the grotto have been honored with the name of Basilica, for they have received the special favors of several popes. Lower Basilica, which is also called the Basilica of Our Lady of Rosary, Upper Basilica, which is also called as Basilica of Immaculate Consumption, and the Basilica of St. Pius X, which is also called as Underground Basilica. This place is a destination for sick and disabled pilgrims, as the Lord's holy water which has flowed from Grotto, which I'll be showing you in few minutes, is reputed for miraculous healings. Coming to Lourdes for the first time means first of all looking at and discovering this place where Virgin Mary appeared 18 times in 1858. It means feeling the faith of thousands of pilgrims who respond to Our Lady's call to come here in procession and observing the hope of all sick pilgrims who come here for little comfort and also grace of healing. This is the Grotto of the Apparitions at Masabiel. The Grotto of Masabiel is a must for all visitors to the Shrine of Lourdes, whether they are ordinary visitors or believers. Although people have been healed after using the water from the Grotto, scientific analysis has found that it has no specific properties. As Saint Bernadette said, a single drop is enough. Faith is what it takes. Indeed, this Grotto is the image of the invisible God who gives us the strength. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, The visit to the grotto is silent. Most people touch the wall of the grotto with their fingers in respect, or to make a wish, or a prayer. The sun never penetrates this black rock. The grotto is 3.8 meters high, 9.5 meters deep and 9.85 meters wide. Since the ninth apparition of Virgin Mary to Bernadette on 25th Feb 1858, a spring has been flowing in the cave. On contact with this holy water, several residents of Lourdes and the surrounding area were miraculously cured. The Seigneur is with you. You are blessed among all the women, and Jesus, the fruit of your womb, is blessed. 
et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, bénit. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, bénit. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres chers, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie. The spring was highlighted in 1974 and the water channeled into a reservoir under the basilicas. The pilgrims can drink the water and they can also collect it from the taps. Go and drink at the spring and wash yourself there. These were the Virgin Mary's words. The source which sprang when Benedict dug the earth following the Virgin's instructions now flows at the rate of 1,22,000 liters a day. The sanctuary baths are found a few meters to the right of Grotto. Hundreds of able-bodied and sick people bathe there every day, helped by qualified personnel and volunteers. The water is changed twice every day. This is the Chapel of Light. On 19 February 1858 at the fourth apparition, Bernadette arrived at the grotto for the first time with a blessed candle. She held it in her hands up to the end. It is from this gesture that the custom of lighting candles was born. Following her example, you are invited to light and burn your candles and leave your prayer intentions. Declaration of a miracle happens in four decisive steps and doctors work and voting must meet a set of seven criteria. The first criterion is that the disease is serious with an unfavorable prognosis. Secondly, the disease must be known and recorded by medicine. Thirdly, the disease must be organic, lesional that is to say there must be an objective biological radiological criteria everything that currently exists in medicine. Fourthly, there must not have been any treatment to which the cure could be attributed. The fifth criterion concerns the timing of the cure itself. Recovery must be sudden, instantaneous, immediate and without convalescence. Finally, after the cure there are additional two criteria. It must not simply be a regression of symptoms but a return of all vital functions. And finally, it must not simply be a remission but a cure that is lasting and definitive. One cannot just say that he or she had a miracle. There are always a doctors and scientists behind who checks this for years and then approves it. Now I'm heading towards the Upper Basilica. It is also called as the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. It was initiated in 1866 and it is the chapel requested by the Virgin Mary during her 13th apparition. Go and tell the priest that a chapel should be built here and that people should come here in procession. This is what Virgin Mary asked Bernadette. Since then every day from April to October the Lourdes pilgrims respond to the request of the Virgin Mary by gathering for torchlight and eucharistic procession. The Eucharistic procession ends at the Basilica of Saint Paul the 10th, which is informally known as Underground Basilica. It is the third basilica here other than the upper and lower basilica. I have made a separate video on this. If you are not seeing, the link is in the description box below. All that we know of the apparitions and the message of Lourdes came to us from Bernadette. She alone saw the lady and all depends on her testimony. Three periods can be distinguished in our life. Before the apparitions and public life at the time of apparitions and finally a hidden life at Nevers. She died at Nevers on 16th April 1879 at the age of 35. The church proclaimed her a saint on 8th December 1933 not for having been chosen by Virgin Mary for the apparitions but for the way in which she responded to that grace.
Worshipping, thanking, asking for grace and asking for forgiveness are the four purposes of prayer for Christians and in particular for Catholics. Prayer is an exchange. It strengthens the bond between man and God. Prayer is the means by which man maintains his friendship with God, like two friends who love each other. That's it for now and I hope you like this video. Hit the like button, share and subscribe if you like and I'll come up with a more interesting video next time. Until then, see you. Bye.